northern New Mexico, on land held sacred by Native Americans, plans are underway to once again begin mining of one of the richest uranium deposits in America. Communities around Mount Taylor have endured boom and bust brought by uranium, but residents here continue to live with a dark legacy of environmental contamination from uranium mining and are concerned by the renewed push for uranium development. The amount of water that the uranium mining companies would use is a huge amount of water. We're talking about 12 million gallons per day that would be taken out of the mine and would run off on the surface of the earth. I have a real problem if those mines discharge their water down through this water course because they will remobilize a lot of the contaminants that are at this point in time semi-locked up in the ground. Today, mounds of toxic waste from uranium production and abandoned mining operations number in the hundreds across New Mexico. Community water supplies have been rendered useless, where mounds of mining waste continue to seep into local aquifers. There wasn't much thought put into getting rid of the waste because it's a, an indigenous country, low-income people in their area, sparsely po populated. Companies that maintain contaminated uranium sites say complete restoration of the land is cost prohibitive. Many more sites have been abandoned altogether. That may change, however, under new legislation in Congress that would recategorize uranium as an energy source similar to oil or gas. Under the new law, companies would lease land from the government and pay royalties on the uranium they produce, royalties that could fund cleanup of contaminated sites. These uranium mines out there are currently being cleaned up with taxpayer money. Um, I would think that a lot of folks in Congress would, would see finally charging a royalty to the uranium mining industry uh, as a good thing. You broke something, you had to fix it. Like you damaged the environment, you contaminated the water, you fix it. So in our way of life, the traditional and cultural way, we say healing. For This American Land, I'm Bruce Burkhardt.